Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial on easy dialogue system. Well, in this tutorial, I will discuss on how to use multiple statement layers. In the previous video, I used only one layer, that was a single statement layer which is our first layer in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use our different statement layers alright um, in the previous video we made the player interact with this red character over here but in this video we are going to make the player interact with, interact with this ball this large ball over here well let's get started let's launch the, the dialog window And then select our dialog database. As you can see, we we have the first first layer we created in, in the previous video, uh, which holds the statement. Well, I'm going to uh, use another layer now. I'm going to name this second layer. And click on enter. Now this layer is going to hold the statement. statement of uh, the player and uh, this large round object here mm. we will be adding material So now I want um, the player to interact with this big ball, this big red ball over here. I want the player to interact with it once it's in distance, once in, it's in, a, clo in clo a close distance with the ball. I would like the player to interact with the ball. Um, I would like the player to interact with the ball. So, First statement in this layer will be made by the player. Player double colon. Wow. This is a very large ball. Stop. I can increase the value by to four seconds. That is the yeah, and I have audio, so I'll leave that empty. Change that into player. Where we add another statement. And link, and link it together layer double colon I would 
like to go around this So now that I have set up um, the statement, I will go back to the scene, my scene view, and select uh, select the uh, this red ball now, and um, So select the, the red ball and then add a, a component ES dialog manager. Then drag the dialog database into that empty slot. As you can see, automatically is the first layer that is selected here. But we're going to be using the first layer. In this case, we're going to be using uh, the second layer. So I'm going to select the second layer. And then I'm going to tweak the values uh, to fit to tweak the values to what I want. Then I'm setting the tag name to player because I want the player to trigger this dialog layer. The rap mode is once I use 3D audio and it should be visible. I think that is all. And finally, I'll need a character texture to show that it's the player that is uh, actually making that statement. So, go back to the dialog window, select the database, move into the second layer, and uh, add a character image and link that to the very first statement which should be 128 by 128 and then add a uh, texture uh, do the same thing to the second image uh, second statement select So um, next, I'm going to add a I'm going to add a collider to this big ball because um, we're using the type of trigger we're using is a collider, so we need a, a collider to detect collision. So I'm going to add a sphere collider. I'm going to increase the radius. should be enough and don't forget to check its trigger 
no, finally I think I will Let's go ahead and test, test this close to my play I'm going to move close to the red character the player says hi the other character says hey what's up and I move closer to the ball the red ball I'm like whoa this is a very large ball I would like to go around this Alright uh, guys, thanks for watching this video, stay tuned for the, the next uh, video, because I'm going to upload more tutorial on the, this dialogue system. Thanks for watching.